So welcome back everyone. I am so excited to be here with Miss Philippines, Michelle oh D. Oh my gosh, Miss, I'm so excited to be here. The last time we spoke was, was it last year? Last year, yes. 2022? It's well, been a while. The last time you were able to interview me. Yeah. We DM a lot, we're DM mates. But <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy to see so you happy. here. Out of all places, El Salvador. Who would have thought? <laughs> oh my gosh, I was so excited when I saw your story yeah. that you landed here. Obviously, I didn't know who was coming here from the Philippines or wherever around yeah. the world. So just of course, excited. we all want to show up for you, the support, yes, the love. You, we got you. Thank you. All right, so let's get right into it because I don't want to take too much of your time. Right. I just want to ask you, how has been your experience so far being here in El Salvador, Miss Universe? This must be like a dream come true for you. Oh my gosh, where do I even begin? I mean, let's start with how beautiful El Salvador is. Mm -hmm. It hits very close to home, actually. I'm pretty sure you've experienced that too. The tropical weather, the hospitality of all of the people, the amazing food. I've been um, going to a lot of the tourist beach destinations. Yeah. So I've been able to kind of compare that to the Philippines and it really hit home for me. So from the location itself and the destination, absolutely enjoying it. Yes. But of course, I love all of the women here. They are so empowered. They are so independent. They are so yes. gorgeous. Literally creme de la creme of every country. Exactly. So I, I love that part of pageantry is really being able to connect to like-minded people that really have that driving force to, to make a positive impact around absolutely, the world. Absolutely, absolutely. And I can attest to all of this. I mean, just being here, the atmosphere is so inspiring and yes, so uplifting. Yes, definitely. So. All right, so I'm gonna take you back a little bit okay. because we know that you worked really, really hard to be mm -hmm. here in this position. You were already um, a national title holder before, so yes. when you decided to join Miss Universe Philippines, you put a lot on the line. Yes. Can you tell us how does it feel like actually being here, going through all of this, and how are you managing all the process? Well, you know, when I when I did join my first international pageant yes I, I had such an amazing time again you meet so many empowered women but unfortunately the world did stop the pandemic happened mm. so everything that I set out to do kind of was put on hold of yes. course during the pandemic that's also when I turned over the crown so I felt like that was kind of a wasted opportunity and a wasted potential to really yeah. maximize the platform that I worked so hard to try and build Hence, the decision of joining Miss Universe. Of course, we all know that Celeste brought home the crown the first time I joined. Yes. But it's, it's really a mental game when you know where, which area you could have improved on and where you kind of fell short on. I'm the type of person that does not like what ifs. I don't like living my life yeah. full of regrets. I knew that there was an age limit at the time. There was still an age limit. And with Celeste's experience, that's when I realized that the org was making a shift. Yes. They were making a shift into a more inclusive platform, into a more advocacy-based platform, which was essentially the reason why I joined my first international pageant, because their focus was very on advocacy. So yes. when they made that shift, I was like, that was the sign that I needed to try again. Yeah. Of course, I had such an adverse year last year. Two of my parents got into accidents. Yeah. I had to take care of both families. I was shooting a television series while doing Miss Universe. Got hospitalized, got surgery, went back the next day. So I really had to be certain yeah. about what I wanted in my life and what I was fighting for. If my purpose was very superficial, very shallow, surface level, yeah. like I just wanted it for the vanity, I would not have been able to power through all of that. But of course, in my core, my burning passion is towards my siblings on the autism spectrum for the millions of individuals on the autism spectrum. And they're really the reason why, why I was able to power through. Awesome. I mean, definitely was a challenging year, but we always said, you know, God's uh, timing is I perfect. Know, it and is. it just feels like the perfect time thank for you. Thank you, thank you. I mean, of everything course. happens for a reason. Lessons, blessings, everything in between. I'm Indeed. very grateful for everything that has made me stronger yeah. to this day. And it shows. Thank you. All right, so one thing that I really love about you is that you are really a creative person. Yes. I'm a creative <laughs> myself, so when I saw you, you know, like, uh, filming, being, like, checking on, like, the... The, the shots. The <laughs> shots of the videos and everything, that was, like, so... Interesting because, of course, mm -hmm. we don't often see girls who are like that much like hands on with the process. Right. I mean, like you said, I am very creative. One of my first passions was really holding a camera back when I was in grade school. Yeah. Of course, I come from a family of creatives. My grandfather was a director. My mm -hmm. father was a producer. My mom was an actress. Yes. And I, I fell in love with it the moment I 
held my first camera when I was maybe like six, seven. Yeah. Then I turned. Then I became a photographer for the school. Admittedly, I just wanted front oh, row seats to oh, everything, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but I truly did enjoy it. And you know, when you join pageantry, you really want to be able to show your authentic self, really highlight yeah. the things that make you uniquely you. Yeah. And part of that was my creative side. So when I was fortunate enough to win the title. I knew that I wanted that standard that I have in all of my content, all of my yes. videos, things that I do for clients to also sh be shown on the universe stage. Yes. So, you know, the hello universe, that was something that I was very excited to shoot. We mounted that in like 24 yeah. hours. Thank you so much to Steven Tan who helped me get yeah. access to the globe. Yes. <laughs> um, but even beyond that, I mean, I feel like my creative side is also self-expression. Yeah where it's always me trying to tell a story to the audience without even speaking. Mm -hmm. So even down to the song choice, I'm very particular about it. Like what kind of emotions can this relay? What, what message can this give even with just such a short 15 to 30 second video? Yes. And I, I mean, people, people like it, people don't like it, but as long as I'm satisfied and you know, my fellow yeah. Kababayans love it yes. also, that's I mean, all that I mean, people loved it, let's be for real. Thank it went you. viral everywhere. Thank you, so thank you. You're doing amazing. And the people feel the, the energy. <laughs> Talking about virality. Okay. Uh, one of the things that went viral about you was when you competed during the finals of Miss Universe Philippines, yes. your, your walk, your Ooh. pasarela. <laughs> What can we expect this year in terms of walk? I don't want to spoil anything, but if you can uh -huh, give us okay. any, you know. So I have always been training with Ian Mendahar. Yes. He was my pasarela coach for my first pageant, <laughs> the, sec the first time I joined Miss Universe, and obviously my latest stint. I've been training with him, obviously, when I won, it became a collaboration with Jonas Gafood. Yes. I do notice a really great change in my pasarela. It's mm -hmm. more polished. It's more refined. Of course, I don't believe that I was perfect. Even though I did win best in evening gown, I carry myself very well. There's always room for improvements, yeah. especially when you're representing the Philippines. <laughs> so uh, I, I have been getting a lot of positive feedback from the things I've been posting yeah. since training up until getting here. And it's it's really just nice to, to know that all of your hard work has been validated or they're really seeing all of this improvement. Yes. And ultimately, that's my goal. I mean, we have to face it. There's only going to be one winner yes. in this competition. But at the end of the day, as long as my, my Kababayans know that I gave it 200, 300, 1,000 percent of myself, 1,000 yeah. percent of hard work, then that, that's that can that make matters. me sleep. Yeah, yeah, of course. So I'm not going to ask you any details, but can we expect another viral moment on the stage of Miss Universe? I think so. Yeah? I think so. I mean, <laughs> I work with some of the most amazing creatives yeah. in the Philippines. Of course, it's no secret. Mark Bumgarner is doing my final gown and preliminary gowns. Yes. And of course, the same designer, Michael Barassi, who did my national costume in the Philippines, yeah. is also designing my national costume. And we put in a lot of hard work, mm -hmm. a lot of we really came together and really tried to figure out what could represent the Philippines and Michelle D yes. at the same time. And I think we were able to achieve that. I know I've been giving some hints on my national costume. I do have a hint coming very soon for my gowns. So, abangan niyo na lang. You know, something that I love that you mentioned earlier is um, that you are representing the Philippines. The you know? Philippines. It's a big responsibility. I think that uh, it takes really someone to visit the country to understand how much pride and honor and exactly. pressure comes with uh -huh. the title. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to you, how are you managing all of that? And how do you keep yourself grounded right. to stay focused on the competition? Well, one, the experience does mm -hmm. help. Yeah. It is my third time uh, joining a pageant. And the thing about competing in the Philippines to vie for the national yeah. title is it, it, it does feel like an international pageant of its own when you yes. compete for Miss Universe Philippines. So one, that helps. Two, I'm very grateful to have such strong and independent parents. My mom and my father, they've raised me to be so certain about yeah. who I am mm -hmm. and what I have to offer that I am not easily swayed. I only listen to the people that matter. I don't yeah. listen to bashers, to naysayers. I am open for constructive criticism. I'm very open to, 
you know, admitting if I have any faults, but it's very important to just know who to listen to yeah. and trust that you are doing the best that you can. And of course, you know, I did start off as an actress. And the yeah. reason why I did choose that is because way back when I knew that I had this confidence issue in front of cameras. So because, again, I, I was working behind the camera instead of in front of the camera. So that really helped me just be relaxed and yeah. be authentic, be natural, even when I'm standing in front of thousands of people. So that really helped me in my mindset. I mean, crying on set with a hundred people behind the camera is no easy thing. And that's the same kind of process when you're on stage having yeah. to be composed, making sure that you don't forget your training. So, so I, I feel like a lot of the things that happen in my life have coincided with my path to the universe yeah. also, where they all individually help me become the best representation of the Philippines. Awesome. I, I never really thought about it that way, but it makes so much sense Thank when you, you. when Thank you explain you. it. Uh, we are running out of time, but I, I want to ask you one last thing. <laughs> yes. Okay. So how far are you willing to go to bring back the Miss Universe crown to the Ooh, Philippines? I... I will go as far as it takes, even if I have to cross the whole universe. <laughs> I will make sure that I will do everything that I can to bring the fifth home, fifth crown back home. Yeah. And of course, I do want to take everybody with me also, just so they're part of the process. Yeah. It is so important for me, for all of you to know that I am really doing everything that I can to make all of you proud and to make sure that I am the best representation of the country that we all love. I know Luis loves the Philippines also. <laughs> and, uh, you know, hopefully destiny, at the end of the day, it's all about destiny. Because yes. I trust the training, I trust my mentors, I have the support of the whole Philippines, and it, I just hope that I'm what the organization looks is looking yeah, for. Exactly. Right? I mean, just being here, looking at you compete, how you handle thank yourself, you. how you're thank so in you. control. I'm so proud of you, and I'm sure that thank everyone you, at home you. is also proud. You're doing thank incredible. You. Thank you, Luis. And to all of my fellow Kababayans, thank you so much for all of your support. Today is the first day of rehearsals. As you see, I'm just in my workout yeah. stuff. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's very exciting because I feel like this is when the competition truly, Smart. truly starts. Yes. So I'm so excited for all of you to watch the show. I'm very excited to know that you're here. Looking for you all the way. Thank you, you thank you. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Mahal ko kayo. Don't forget to keep voting. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, guys. Love you, Michelle. Thank you. Thank You're you. amazing. Thank you. 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 Th